Hello, hello, hello. I think we're rolling. So greetings. Greetings, one and all, to Rob Loach, Loach Plays. I am Rob Loach, and today we are going to be talking about game development. I have always been interested in game development. I used to draw maps when I was young and create little characters. And um, along my journey, I've always been interested in game development frameworks. Um, I've looked at a few of them out there and played around with them. Uh, a few include Love 2D, Unity, SDL. Um, what I love about them is just how simple those frameworks are in order to create something new and something interesting. Uh, the most recent one that I've ran into is named Tick80. So Tick80 is a small framework that allows, uh, it's like a fantasy computer. You just create little games in here. Uh, it, it provides you all the tools that you need. It gives you a sprite editor. It gives you a music editor, map editor, all of these, all of these really nifty tools that you need when you are developing a video game. Uh, you can see that there's a pretty large community behind it as well. Uh, if you click over to the, the play tab over at tick.computer, that is their actual website. Uh, you can see, um, a whole bunch of different games that people have put together. This is a Mario Brothers clone. Not exactly a clone, but it does pretty well to try and recreate the feel of Mario Bros. Uh, you can run around, do your thing. So this is all in the browser, which, which is great. It's very accessible. However, I want to be playing Mario Bros through Tick 80 um, on my Raspberry Pi. I want to play it on my phone. I want to play it on my computer with a, with a, with a gamepad. Everywhere. So this is what led me to RetroArch. So RetroArch is a all-encompassing emulator system, multi-emulator system. It brings together a Super Nintendo, uh, Sega Genesis, everything. Um, uh, and you can, you can extend what it hooks into as well. Um, people have put together lib retro cores is what they're called. And um, so I took it upon myself to put together a, a lib retro core for um, Tick80. So what this allows you to do is run Tick80 games directly through RetroArch. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to switch over to RetroArch right here. When I switch over to the Tick80 playlist, you can see a whole bunch of different games in here. Uh, you can see Mario Bros, uh, which I was just loading before. Um, yeah, all the input is working. Uh, I got the, got the music to be ported over, so it's nice and smooth. Um, the game is playable, which is so cool. So I thought I'd, I thought I'd load up a few different games and see see what this looks like. Um, first, I'm going to close this, and so that's Mario Bros. Um, Stell is pretty awesome. Uh, so Stell is a great game based on um, if you've heard of Celeste, it's kind of like Celeste. You you collect these little little coins as you make your way through the level. And along your journeys, you discover that uh, sometimes you can't actually jump up. Uh, so there is a, a little boost that you can do in the air. So you can see when I jump, I can make a double, a double jump. It's not really a double, it's like, it definitely is more like a boost. Let's roll with that. But this is such a great game and I love that people have posted this or ported it over to um, to Tick80. So another game in Tick80. Let's let's load up a, a demo, shall we? So Cave Story is a, a a great indie game, and someone's ported the mu a music demo 
over to Tikiti. And this just shows that people are really interested in in uh, what Tikiti can do. Um, yeah, Cave Store is a great game. This is a cool demo of some of the music. Uh, Eight Bit Panda is a is a fun game. So this is pretty pretty original. It gives you a a world. It looks like. Uh, let's load into it. <laughs> I love the music. Uh, it looks like I'm a little panda with a sword, a very short sword. And I can jump through and uh, kill the aliens and die. <laughs> pretty pretty great game. Um, yeah. Next game! Um, how about Seapong? Uh, so it looks like Seapong is a circular Pong game. Kind of a cool concept. I would love if there was sound effects. Like the, I love the uh, the vibration that happens when you hit the ball. Kind of cool. Um. Yeah. So that's that's a few a few games. I'm gonna load up Witch Witch 'em Up is the last one. I really love the music behind Witch 'em Up. So let's let's start this up. It looks like you can shoot bombs as well. Kind of cool. Oh, this is awesome. Witch him up. It's uh, shoot him up with with a witch. Now I I get the concept now. Um, I also like the like the color palette. It's very uh, it's very pleasing to the eyes. Oh no, I can't get hit here. I can't hit here. I have to bomb that one. These bombs are really good for getting rid of these rabbit things. Ah! Almost got hit there. Oh my god! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like I, there's a moon behind here. I love the art style here. Very cool. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's a few games that are, that are behind, uh, Tick 80. And, um, having this Tick 80 port over to the LibRetro Core means that we can run, uh, run Tick 80 pretty much, pretty much everywhere, which is really cool. I'm excited to test this out on my Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm running this on a Linux machine but it does work on Windows. Um, I want to, so I definitely want to thank um, the few people who have helped out with that. Um, yeah, so I, I guess that's it. Uh, I wanted to thank you all for coming and watching this. Um, I'm definitely interested in doing more videos. So if you do have interest in um, seeing some videos, definitely follow, follow me here. Um, I'm on Twitch sometimes, YouTube, um, and write comments so that uh, I do more of these. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. So long. <laughs>